Hello and welcome to Legend Acres. And so I am Christy May and I am uh, the founder and lead instructor here at Legend Acres. And what we're going to talk about today is um, part of the homework for advanced obedience and it is entering and exiting a doorway. Now, when you're entering and exiting a doorway with a dog, the idea here is that you have a cup of hot coffee in this hand. Okay, so when you're exiting and entering a doorway, your dog's not pulling and spilling your coffee all over you or whoever else is out here in front of you. All right, so there are three ways to go in and out of a doorway. So what I've done here is I've set up two chairs because when you first start practicing this, I want you to start practicing this without a door, all right? So for the reason being, when you go to reach for your front door, what do most dogs do? They get all excited and say, we're going outside, we're getting in the car, or we're doing whatever, okay? Um, and so the thing is, is, we want to take all that excitement out of it and just teach them the going through the motions first. Then you start on an inside door where the door is open, and then you work um, doing the same thing in a doorway that we're going to set up in the chairs. Then after they're proficient at that, then you can start opening and closing the door while doing the exercise. Then you can start working on other doors, including your outside door. All right, so the first way that we're going to do that, this is that, first of all, I don't want my dog to like run through on the other side, okay? So how we pick which of the three we're gonna use depends on what's going on on the other side of the door. So we're gonna just start with the first one of where the dog goes with us through the doorway. So I want you to imagine a um, electronic door opening, such as PetSmart, Tractor Supply, the grocery store, there's lots of places that have automatic doors. When you get up to one of those doors, you're not gonna pause at the door to go through that doorway. It's going to be a with me. So certain doors you're gonna go through are just going to be with me. So I have Fido here with me today, my invisible dog. And so Fido here is going to demonstrate how to go through these doorways under control. So the first one is just going to be Fido with me and I'm just going to walk through that door like nothing happened. I don't have to turn around and close the door. I don't have to do anything with that. So that one is this just them going with you. So we're going to do it the other direction. Fido with me. Okay, same thing. So we're not stopping. The only reason I give the with me command is because sometimes they're they're taken back by the doors opening or there's people coming through this doorway with you. And so sometimes they're looking at you like, what are we gonna do here? And so just giving that command to go through that doorway gets them to go, oh, okay, we're, we're just going through this door, okay? Because it's a command that they already know we've been using with me um, uh, as to get them to walk with us for loose leash walking as well as um, all of the leash walking and changing direction that you should have been doing up till now. All right, so it's just stay with me and going through. And then again, uh, Fido with me, and I went through the door. Okay, so to do this on this door, I'm gonna demonstrate with this door right over here. So with this door here, then I would just do the same thing. So with the sliding door here, I would move this exercise to with me. I have Fido with me, back through, before I ever introduce the door. Then, what I'm going to do is then I'm going to introduce this as a door. So we're gonna pretend that this is an automatic door is what we're going to do. So let's say the automatic door opens with me, okay, and then my automatic door closes. So there's either with me, good. Sometimes there's a pause when you get up to a door and so in that moment, you can then give that instruction of what it is that you want them to do, which is going to be with open me, okay? The next way to go through a doorway with a dog is going to be sending the dog first. So I'm going to give you an example of that. So let's say you are coming in the house and you're unlocking the door and you've got to pick up some stuff you need to bring in with you, okay? So that would be an instance if you wanted to unlock the door, push that door open and say Fido through and send him through on the other side. So then you can do what you need to do over here and then walk through the door and then close this door. Okay, so I'm gonna show you that one again. So it's gonna be a, so Fido's here, I'm gonna say Fido through. He's gonna go through the other side. 
then I come through the door and then I close the door. So when you're practicing this one and the third method, I want you to go through the hand motions of opening a door. So I'm gonna open up this door here and then I'm gonna say, Fido, through. And I'm gonna then step through and I'm going to close this door. Now, if I send Fido through this door, so I'm gonna do that one more time for you. So I'm opening this door and then I say Fido through. Now, if I start to come through this door and Fido starts to pull, then I can put Fido in a sit stay while I then come over here and now close this door, okay? But most of the time they're going to stop and wait. That's part of that auto sit that we had done in intermediate is getting them to pause when our feet stop. So when you come through that door and stop, we want them to stop. But sometimes when they're on the other side and our feet start moving towards them, they think that we're just going to continue on walking and then they'll, they'll start walking forward, all right? So what you're going to do then is after you put them through, you're going to put them in a sit stay until they have learned this. So I'm going to show you how you would teach that then. So what you would do is you would open this door, Fido through, Fido sit, Fido stay, then I come through and close this door, and then I give a treat. Okay, so I say good boy Fido for staying. Then I can do it with me at that point and walk off. So I'm going to show you that one more time from this, this direction because it's easier for you to see. So I'm going to, so I have Fido right here. I'm opening this door, okay, and I say Fido through, Fido sit, Fido stay. And then I step through and then I close this door. All right. So I'm going to show you on this door then. So I have a Fido sit, Fido stay, Fido through, Fido sit, Fido stay. Fido through, Fido sit, Fido stay. Good, Fido. Okay, so that's an, that's an example of sending them through ahead of you. Now the third way that we're going to cover on how to enter and exit doorways is going to be where they are in a sit stay on this side, you go through the doorway, and then you call them through to you. You would use this in an instance of what you didn't know was going on on the other side of the door. So for instance, I use this one a lot for stepping outside the door when we go outside in the morning because you don't know what's out on your porch. So you don't just want to send your dogs out ahead of you in that situation. But there's several other situations that do the same, that same scenario. You would want to go first before they go through the door just because you're not sure, certain what's on that other side. So in this instance, what I would do is I do Fido sit, Fido stay, I'm gonna open this door, Fido stay, I can remind, I'm gonna come through and then I'm gonna say Fido come, Fido come, good boy, and then I'm gonna close this door. So I'm gonna do that again. So I open this door, well first I'm gonna put Fido in sit stay before I open that door, because if I open that door, where's Fido gonna go? I'll go through my door. Fido sit, Fido stay, then I open the door, then I step through the door, if I don't stay, I remind again to do a stay. Okay, I look, coast is clear, if I don't come, if I don't come to me, good boy, and then I close my door. All right, I'm gonna show it to you on this door. So I'm going to go to this door, I'm gonna do a fight of sit, if I don't stay. If I don't come, good boy. I go sit, I go stay, stay, I go come, good boy. Okay, so what we covered today are the three ways that you can take a dog through a door to enter and exit doorways. So I'm going to go, go over them one more time. The first way is just going to be a going through a with me. So it's going to be Fido with me, and you go through the door. The second way is going to be sending Fido ahead. 
So I'm going to stop here. I'm going to say Fido sit, Fido stay, open the door, Fido through, Fido sit, Fido stay. I go through and then I close the door. The third way is where I put Fido in a sit stay, I go through the door first, then I call him through. So Fido sit, Fido stay, open the door. Okay, then I walk through and say Fido stay. I check, make sure everything's clear. If I don't come, good boy, and close the door. All right, if you have any questions about your homework or how to set this up, again, you can always reach out uh, to us. You can either call us or text us at 931-516-3064, and you can also send us an email at legendacres at hotmail.com. And you can reach us on any of our social media platforms at Legend Acres. Um, I'm sorry, yes, at legendacres.com. Um, so have a great time working on this with your dog. But again, if you do have any trouble, please don't hesitate to contact us. Have a good night.